Uh, so, dear colleagues, good afternoon. I would like to congratulate you on the occasion of this conference. I would like to thank the Department for Photographic Art for organizing, organizing such an important exhibition important, and an important international scientific conference. I would also like to express my gratitude for this chance to speak uh, and represent to you the early uh, samples of the portrait light painting from the collection of the State Russian Museum. So the portrait genre uh, was among the most uh, demanded and the most popular in the light painting. Also, this happened with the salt paper prints. They appeared almost together with daguerreotypes, and they became part of the social life. But sadly, due to technical uh, aspects, such uh, works uh, survived uh, till present in limited amount. So, uh, the Russian Museum, as the treasury of the national art, uh, calls uh, a wide uh, collection of negative prints, unique photo albums. So the main department uh, which stores photo materials is the uh, image archive, uh, which actually exists uh, from 1898, uh, and the collection was replenished from different sources, donations, uh, purchases, transfer uh, between the museums or internally within the Russian museums. And uh, exhibits from the photo laboratory of the museums. So, uh, as for the portraits, so I'd like to show you 24 portraits, uh, those of men, uh, women, and children uh, with one or two figures no familiar and unknown faces. So you can see how multifold this genre was. And you can see uh, prints uh, having noble uh, brown shapes uh, uh, with the additions of the white color or illuminated with watercolor and or fully colored uh, portrait uh, photographs. Studying um, mentioned photo portraits, uh, there were a lot of attempts to uh, study them, but uh, my main focus was on just uh, some se several images for the two exhibitions, uh, painting style and fashion, and the first photo biennale of historic and archived uh, photographs from the Russian museums. Well, however, mm, uh, it all ended at the level of uh, projects and initial reflections and identifications of uh, salt prints uh, magnified by 40 times. So, the core of these collections are male collections, including uh, a portrait of a man in a suit by Booker, uh, the portrait of Karl Kor by Wagenheim, and others. And also, we, we see some handmade artistic works like graphic grisal sheets and monochrome um, landscape images. Uh, when you see them, you forget about uh, the methods for producing these portraits. And uh, it's natural, because uh, from the moment uh, photography uh, appeared, uh, it borrowed a lot from uh, the technique of delivery, from graphics and painting. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the portrait of Andrei Pavlovich Turegin, the merchant, so by an unknown photographer, on its aesthetics, it's close to another photographic uh, technology, daguerreotype. Um, sometimes you see uh, prints uh, uh, fully watercolored. So the paint, the light painting, uh, inherited a lot uh, from the classic painting. Some uh, female images from unknown photographers, for instance, the old lady with buckles in a white cap, presumably Natalia Stroganova, and also the portrait of a standing young woman and a portrait of a sitting young woman. So they show 
the influence of the landscape and graphical uh, works uh, of the in the portrait uh, light painting. There are also some works from the unknown uh, photographers. Uh, the portrait of a young lady. If you look at uh, this um, uh, photograph at the right, you will see the layer of uh, gouache. So, uh, of course, it uh, was hand painted. Uh, several portraits from uh, representatives of the Ferzen Stroganov family are very peculiar. You see uh, smooth uh, transitions of the profile, smooth transitions from the light to shade, this uh, pale brown color range, uh, which is very characteristic for salt springs, uh, which provide for this matte type surface. So the presentation manner is very delicate, which makes uh, these images of children and young women aesthetics. So this works uh, with the reference to the topic of family, childhood, and uh, motherhood. Uh, well, stand away from the documentalistic basis of photography and uh, uh, are an attempt uh, for an artistic uh, reflection of the nature. So the portrait prints uh, stored in the collection of the Russian Museum uh, very rarely have exact dates but have different existence history. For instance, the female portrait by an unknown photographer, paper, watercolor, gouache, uh, gold and graphite pencil, um, first arrived to the museum uh, collection on the 19th fe February of 1991. So it was donated to the Russian Museum uh, from the twin brothers uh, and famous uh, St. Petersburg collectionist uh, uh, Yosef and Yakov Rzhevsky. So, in the detailed description on an inventory card, we see a detailed description. We see a young lady in a very ornate um, dress uh, of uh, light blue and gray uh, atlas. Uh, so with uh, a thin uh, silverish atlas uh, thread uh, and you will see that the name uh, Ido Oda Maria Kram in pencil. So on the envelope you see a strip of paper with the which also says in a black ink Ida Oda Maria. So this was also the case with many portraits which were uh, reviewed by the uh, images department. Uh, this was also the case with the Empress uh, Yekaterina, um, the first by an unknown artist. And the, the portrait which was borrowed from Musin Pushkin collection, the portrait of Natalia Karamzin, and also together with the first uh, two portraits I already mentioned, the portrait of uh, the Romanov house representative you see on this slide by the famous Levitsky, colored as it said by Romanov on the 22nd of January 1858. According to the Intermuseum transfer, six uh, re photographs uh, were passed from Ferzen family collection. So this old lady with the buckles uh, in the white cape, you see, and the three portraits of the man, uh, uh, the boy, and a woman with the boy. There were also some borings, like the portrait of a young man, uh, presumably Pavel Stroganov, and the portrait of a young woman. So, for some prints, uh, the source 
could not be identified. You see all the 11 images. And remarkably, the last uh, four portraits uh, have prints of uh, uh, signatures from Franz Ter Stengel, Booker and Nadar. So the, this young lady from the Germany portrait belongs to the state Hermitage. So this sample is depicted under the glass. And this is the only one which has the leather uh, framework and uh, a special thread to position it uh, on the wall or on the table. And finally, a couple of words uh, of people uh, depicted on the portraits. They include important figures uh, of uh, national and foreign uh, culture. For instance, Mr. Uh, uh, Turrigan, who could be attributed due to these uh, photographs in the collections of the um, and uh, the old lady um, with the buckles in the white uh, um, have, uh, could be identified as Lady uh, Stroganova. Uh, so they both they were granddaughters of uh, um, Lady Stroganova, who was prototype of the uh, main heroine of the Queen of Spades uh, in Pushkin. So, uh, it should be mentioned that this portrait uh, has a uh, matte uh, velvet style surface, uh, which is characteristic for salt prints. In the English photography at uh, the Bolshaya Morskaya Street in St. Petersburg, um, a portrait of a young man, which is, was presumably Pavel Stroganov, uh, the second uh, son of the uh, Duchess uh, Natalia Stroganov, was represented. Um, so, which actually showed the connection between the two lines of the Stroganov family. So, among photographers uh, who produced portrait prints on salt paper, are uh, well known masters of foreign and uh, Russian uh, portrait light painting. Levitsky von Hanfstengel and also uh, um, Nadar, uh, the German painter Booker, uh, Abrahamson, the D Danish uh, national, uh, an owner of a photo studio in St. Petersburg and Rimsk, uh, Goffer. Um, known for an, producing an album of 24 watercolors of Goldschild, um, Martin Wagenheim, who was also a dentist who received patients on, in, in, in a big house, uh, which stood where uh, Astoria Hotel is today. So he owned uh, the photo studio in St. Petersburg called Photography and Landscape, sold to photographer uh, Panov. And uh, it is clear that uh, the photo portraits uh, shown are invaluable documentary visual source of studying fashion in the mid 19th century, and uh, they enable us uh, to date uh, the front collection's uh, portraits. And uh, we were basing uh, our attribution on several factors. For example, we understand that uh, Queen Elena was uh, really fashionable in uh, the 1850s uh, and uh, we understand uh, that uh, there are certain uh, features uh, of the dress and uh, the uh, hair style and others and uh, we would like to quote uh, several examples of uh, home and uh, foreign literature. For example, as for the portrait of a man in a fur coat, Teofil Gautier from a trip to Russia wrote, young people who are not military or civil servants uh, wear a fur coat uh, whose price surprises a uh, foreigner and uh, our trendy people will not opt for buying that uh, and uh, that is uh, not a ribbon beaver that uh, will cost uh, not much uh, but uh, that is Kamchatka beaver whose fur was uh, extremely 
uh, thick and dark and beautiful. I would also like to quote uh, some other examples devoted to hairstyle of uh, women. For example, characteristic of uh, those uh, hairstyles uh, can be found uh, in uh, Balzac and Flaubert's. For example, Flaubert says uh, her neck uh, stood out uh, of uh, white uh, color and the fine line of uh, the parting that uh, was uh, going up uh, according to her skull, parted her hair into two dark uh, bandles and uh, the, the hair was uh, smoothly combed uh, back and uh, waved uh, nicely to the temples. And in another uh, piece, uh, her smooth black uh, hair uh, that were gathered very low, uh, went down to the cheeks and uh, touched the brows. And now a couple of words about uh, the uh, condition of the portraits. Uh, we can see signs of foxings, and uh, there is a serious uh, scratch in one passport too, and uh, none of the photographs uh, have been restored, renovated, and they are stored in cardboard boxes, and uh, there is marker coated paper uh, covering them. And, uh, I would like to say uh, in conclusion that uh, these uh, portrait prints have never been anywhere shown. So today is the uh, first night for them and uh, we will continue starting there from uh, many dimensions and uh, we are looking forward to further discoveries. I would be thankful to you for your comments and questions uh, that you might have after my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.